We'll work a few examples before lunch. All right, so example A, we're going to solve and graph each inequality. Okay? So the first one is x minus 6 is greater than 4. Okay, if we're going to solve that, what are we trying to get by itself? X, yeah. So how do I get X by itself? Add 6. The same way I do an equation. Everything's the same as far as getting the variable by itself for an inequality as it is for an equation. So we get X is greater than 10. That's our solution as a graph on a number line. If I put 10 in the middle, what goes to the right of 10? 11 and 12 to the left of 10, 9 and 8. Your number line needs to be in numerical order. If it's not, it's wrong. Okay? If you can't put numbers in order, then we've got problems. Okay? Now, Above the 10, should there be an empty circle or a filled in circle? Why empty? It doesn't have the equal to mark, so I'm going to put an empty circle there. And then that inequality says x is greater than 10. So that means the answers are bigger than 10. So which way does it go? Right, toward the 11 and 12. The equal to mark. If it has an equal to mark, it's going to be closed. It's going to be filled in. If it doesn't have that equal to mark, then it's open. Right. Example B, we've got x plus 7 less than or equal to 5. How do I get x by itself? Subtract 7. x is less than or equal to negative 2. Draw that on a number line. I'm going to put the answer in the middle, negative 2. What goes to the right of negative 2? Negative 1 and 0. To the left would be negative 3, negative 4. Above the negative 2 is what? Closed circle, filled in, because it has an equal to mark. And it says the answers, x, are less than or equal to negative 2. So that's going to go which direction? Toward the negative 3 and negative 4, because they're less than negative 2. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to. Eight is greater than or equal to X minus six. That's going to be 14 is greater than or equal to X. If I rearrange that so that X is on the left, what symbol goes between the X and the 14? Less than or equal to. Turn it around. And then that would be our solution. On a number line, 14 goes in the middle. Hopefully you put those numbers on there. Open or filled in? Filled in. What numbers are less than 14? 13 and 12. So that's the direction I'm going to go. Not very difficult so far, right?
One x minus one third is less than two fifths. Okay, so to get x by itself, we're going to add one third. The common denominator would be fifteen. So this would be six over fifteen and five over fifteen. So x is less than. Well, 11 over 15. That doesn't reduce. <coughs> so the way that I do the fractions when I'm looking at making that on my number line, I've got the 11 over 15 in the middle. To the right of that, I'm just going to increase the numerator by 1. So 12 over 15, but that reduces. 3 goes into 12 4 times and into 15 5 times. And then 13 over 15 would be the next one. And then go to the left, got 10 over 15, which is 2 thirds. And then 9 over 15, which is 3 fifths. So you want your number line to have reduced fractions in it if they will. Doesn't necessarily mean they always will or won't. So you just got to look at them and see. But it all stems from just changing the numerator and then simplifying what you get. Okay? That's how I do my uh, number lines with fractions. So above the 11 over 15 is a what? Open, going, which direction are the answers? Left. Mr. Ansel, yes, ma'am. And Autumn Buzz will step up here for a second. Uh, we're about to go to lunch. Can she just stop? Uh, yes, that will be just fine. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. You're going when we go to lunch. Oh, you're not. You're going to stop by the office on the way to lunch. You would miss lunch anyway if you went now. All right, so let's look at this one before we go to lunch. Five sixth is greater than or equal to A plus two thirds. How do I get A by itself? Subtract the two thirds. And the common denominator would be six. So this one doesn't change, but this one becomes negative four over six. Five minus four would be one over six is greater than or equal to A. I want to turn that around so that A is on the left side. So I rewrite it. A is less than or equal to one six. And put that on a number line. If you notice on these number lines I'm drawing, I'm putting two to the right of my answer and two to the left of my answer. That's the way I want you to do them. It's just a good standard practice for number lines. Okay, so to the right of one six, yeah, two six would be one third and then one half. And to the left be zero over six, which is zero, and then negative one over six. Above the one six would be closed circle because we got an equal to mark. And we're going which direction? Toward the zero and the negative one six. All right, that'll get us a good place to stop before lunch.